Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel Xenovision. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can fix GTA 5 crashing on the loading screen. So before I show you all that, I would like to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so you're experiencing crashes on the loading screen of Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm here to help you out. This method has saved me many, 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 many times and others also. Um, it is in the best scenario case when you're starting up Grand Theft Auto towards the end, it just closes up and it's not working anymore. Uh, this will also work if it says uh, not enough memory, uh, reboot and restart. Um, and some other errors i don't know exactly but it will work on most cases uh, if you have any modifications installed then this is the best video for you so let's get started we need to download and install a few files for this you can visit the link in the description to my discord as all the links will be there but you will also see the links right now on the screen so you can also just type them over so let's hop over to my discord and check it out this is my Discord right here. We also have installation service for any lazy people. We can install any modifications for you like LSPDFR or other modifications. Um, to see all the channels, you do need to first go to sub verification, um, check it out. And uh, after that, we will go to the category called GTA Fix Crashes. And here are the links that we are going to be visiting today. Uh, let's go over to link number one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and download them also. So this is going to be an easy, oh, here, here, and, and this, and this right here. So we've downloaded now four files from four links. If it starts, it's not starting. There you go. There you go. Okay. Next thing is to open up our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and the files we just downloaded. So on our left side, we have our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and on our right side, the files we downloaded. Let's start with the first file that's right here. If you already have these, that's okay. These might be newer files, updated files, so it is necessary to use these. And you can watch this video on any time, even if there's an update with the game, because these files will be the latest versions. Let's go to the second one. And just drag and drop these files right here. Um, we're going to open up this one. And we're going to change this 750 to 2000. So just a quick note on uh, what we're doing right now. If you're experiencing crashes during the game at random moments, then these settings and files that we're installing will also help that. It's not only for crashes on loading screen. Um, so let's go to the next one and select these two files. We're going to do the same right here replace them if you I, if you already have them we're gonna open up this file right here and we're gonna change this 7344 to 40k so you can see it good and we're gonna go ahead and close it and save it up and the last thing that we're gonna add is the uh, convict file and we're gonna need to open IV for that and when you're watching this video you can assume that you already have this or else like the crash wouldn't just like happen it's not likely that it would happen with 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 no modification so you already have this i'm not going to show you how to install this if you don't know how to do it search it up on my youtube i have a installation tutorial um let's go to update update again common data and then we're going to click on edit mode. We're going to hit yes. 
and then you will have here the option to either show in mods folder or copy the mods folder in both cases you will choose either show in mods folder or copy the mods folder we're gonna click on it and then we will be redirected to the mods folder right here and now we can go ahead and extract the last file you can use 7-zip winrar or any other extractor you're using and let it load up open up the folder go to this folder right here click on here and for this tutorial we will be using stock traffic but you can use to have even more traffic in the game and we're going to select this file and we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop it in open 4 and now we can close it up and now you can start up your game and it will work for you again and that is awesome it is easy um this will work at approximately 90 percent time 90 percent of the times if it's not working then it's a different issue meaning for you um open up a support post in our discord maybe we can help you with it we can suggest a few things um like reinstalling grand theft auto reinstalling rockstar launcher reinstalling steam uh uninstalling steam just trying it without if you have the wrong rockstar launcher <coughs> changing your steam name changing your rockstar email uh changing it. It, it that's happened before that these things might solve it um but the real question is have has it ever worked for you grand theft auto on that pc okay if it has worked for you then something has been changed okay that that's clear if it has never worked for you maybe you've bought a faulty motherboard which also has happened before uh, and besides that if you really can't figure it out you can always see if we can do something remotely with the services we offer but the best thing i recommend then is instead of that is just doing a clean windows or reset uh, then you're sure because if this there's a problem in this and it was working before maybe you have a problem somewhere else also on your pc that you don't know about because maybe you've installed some files or installed some things that yeah made this happen but also to other software within your pc um so i hope that gives you a clear image for everyone that just installed this load it up it's finally working uh let me know in the comment section also leave me some feedback and uh yeah don't forget to smash that like button thank you all for watching again and have a good day goodbye